Well, those, those that mechanism and system exists today. I mean, anybody could uh, could sign Messi today and and pay him what they want to pay him as a designated player. Uh, should uh, Lionel decide that he wants to, you know, play in Major League Soccer, uh, and and that's the same for uh, for Neymar or or for any other player, you know, Felipe. I think what what's been happening, and this has been a stated focus for the league, uh, is we want our our story to be about young players who are coming here uh, at the earliest uh, stages in their career or in the prime of their careers, uh, and making our league their league of choice. And you've seen a dramatic shift from where we were uh, to where we are today. You know, if you, if you look at, you know, Almada, you look at Velasco, you know, you look at Torres, you know, these are, these are young players that uh, uh, I, we were competing against the top international clubs and they decided to come to Major League Soccer. You know, Shakiri's 30 and just, uh, uh, you know, you, you've got players that are coming at 30 that, uh, you know, personally, I don't think 30 is old when you're uh, a Major League Soccer uh, player. Uh, and, and when we, we look at bringing in players at 30 and, and younger than that, I'm proud of that. Uh, as it relates to when they get older, if that makes sense, that's great. Uh, if they're not here to come and play and, and be a, a great contributor to their club and to our league and to respect the league and its fans, then we don't want them in Major League Soccer, right? So we don't need to bring in a big name player at the end of their career because they've decided they'd like to retire in MLS. And I think there've been no shortage of players towards the end of their career that have been great MLS players. And Henri is perhaps one of the great examples of that. David is, Beckham is one of the great examples of that. Uh, I, I, I can't imagine what Major League Soccer would be without players like that. But you also think about Joseph Martinez and you think about Almiron and you think about some of the players that have come in recently you know, they're what is what making is what is making Major League Soccer the league it is today. And it really speaks to the previous things we've talked about. It's the the transfers out and it's the transfers in. And that creates something that uh, ultimately is going to be attractive to our fans. And, and I think earn the respect of you know, our media and those who follow the league and, and earn the respect of our of our partners. And that's what I'd like to see happening going forward. Interestingly, you know, when Zlatan left uh, Major League Soccer, nobody said that he went to go retire in Italy. And frankly, I was insulted by that because if Zlatan came to us when same age he went uh, back to Milan, it would have been a retirement uh, uh, move on his part. And he worked his tail off in MLS and he's working his tail off works in Serie A. So I'm not quite sure why we're viewed differently, but that is what it is.